Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be explaining exactly what a promotional video is and how best to utilize it. But before that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more hints and tips. Now, let's get into it. You might have heard the term promotional videos used when talking about corporate video production. They're also known as promo videos, but what exactly are they? Well, generally they're kind of like little biased documentaries for a business. All they're there to do is sell all the benefits, expertise, and all the good things about a business and show a little peek behind the curtain of how it was all set up, how they work day to day, and what really goes on behind the scenes. Promos are used for various other reasons, not just the obvious marketing ones. They can be used to get potential employees to apply to jobs there. They can be used to communicate with current and existing employees, or they can be used to just be a introduction on your website rather than as an advertising tool. But what does a promo video typically look like? Promo videos typically include a talking head setup, which is what this is. It's just a weird way to say an interview setup or someone just talking directly to the camera. And then they'll have a B-roll, which is all those extra clips of stuff actually happening, all the action shots over the top of these either person or people talking. They can happen in various ways, whether you have a single person being the narrator for the entire video, whether you have three interviews that interconnect and tell a story, or whether you just have a voiceover, no talking head or B-roll, or maybe you just want interviews and no B-roll. I wouldn't suggest to do interviews with no B-roll, but if that works for your brand, if that's what you think will be authentic to your audience, maybe that'll work for you. A promo video will typically be between three to five minutes long, and in that time, I generally suggest that you only fit in three interviews if that's the way you're gonna go, just so that you're not trying to cram too much into one shoe and one edit and overload your audience with too much information from too many perspectives. You do want to select people though who are experts in their field, who will come across really nicely on camera, who are confident about what they're doing and why they're doing it, and who are gonna represent your brand in a manner which fits within your branding as well. You've got to remember your brand is a personality in itself, and therefore everything you put out and make should reflect that as well. But when it comes to thinking about making your promotional video, Think about the purpose behind it. If you just want it for an introduction piece on your website, then maybe there's not that much that you need to strategize or plan beforehand. But if you're thinking that you want this to drive sales, to drive applications, to really reach an audience or just build engagement, you need to be thinking about the preparation that will be involved before that. You can't just throw up a video and hope for the best. You need to lay the foundations. Once those foundations have been laid, when you go to put out your promotional video, you're more likely to get that return on investment that you need and deserve. Promos are really good at showing your audience behind the curtain the way you work. They're really good for warming up those cold leads because you're able to show your expertise and passion for your field. It's a really excellent way to be able to create those connections to those who have no idea what you do and don't even realize that actually you could be helpful to them in a way they hadn't even thought about. You can do so much with a promotional video and I think people forget that what they do day to day is actually really interesting to those who have no knowledge on the subject. You gotta remember, people are really nosy so showing them exactly what goes on behind the scenes can be really interesting and i think done in the right way can be really appealing to those who potentially could work with you promos really come into their own when it comes into events if you have an annual event for example such as a conference or a festival you can use footage that you've used in previous years to create a promo video, and if you can even get testimonials to those who were involved or people who attended, 
that's really going to drive home the value of that event. You're going to be able to create the expectations of what goes on, what happens, and that it's well run, well frequented, that people have enjoyed it. That will really warm up people who might have been thinking about going. And now that they've seen this video, they may be more inclined to buy into it. That's just one example in how you could use a promo video. They are so versatile that if you even get like a little bit more creative than your bog standard, you're gonna be able to create something that works within your branding, that sells your company, which highlights your expertise and really shows your knowledge and passion for what you're talking about. So they're definitely not something to sleep on, but just remember strategy is also important. And when you're sitting down with a videographer or you're thinking about potentially creating a video yourself, think about also all the snippets you could take from the video or from the footage you got to make some little social snippets, little pieces that you can drip feed into your content prior to you releasing the full video. This will just help warm up your audience as well. So that was the basics of what a promotional video is and how best to use them. If you have any questions or you'd like to know more, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more hints and tips, all things related to video. And I'll see you in the next one.